friends and welcome to Makeup and Motivate. I am Crystal O and today I am going to be trying out a new makeup product as well as giving some motivation, some encouragement for the week. If you are new here, I am a lifestyle, beauty, faith, fashion influencer and YouTuber and I am starting this new series called Makeup and Motivate. The whole idea of Makeup and Motivate is to try new makeup that is sent to me via PR or just makeup that I've purchased that's new or just makeup that people have questions about. I really feel like seeing it on me or just seeing it on someone else is more helpful than just being told about a product. So here I plan to try out products as well as motivate you for your week, for your day, for your life, etc. I don't just want you to take makeup away from this video. I also want you to take away feeling encouraged filled up, excited about life, and encouraged to push on and push forward. So let's go ahead and get started. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to stay in the loop of Makeup and Motivate videos, as well as all of the amazing things that I have going on on my channel this month, such as Vlogmas and a bunch of other things. So let's get started. Thank you guys so much for the excitement with the announcement of Makeup and Motivate. It excited me just knowing that you were excited. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start this first Makeup and Motivate. All right, so in today's Makeup and Motivate video, I will be showing you guys the Huda Beauty Full Filter. I believe this is called the Full Filter Skin Finish. It's basically a foundation stick that I've been trying out. These are fairly new and were recently released. Um, I am in the shade Cinnamon, um, so that's basically what that's looking like right there. I'm going to go ahead and pop off this little container and kind of show you guys what it's looking like. So this is basically what the case and the body looks like. As you can see, it's very, very portable. You can put this bad boy in your purse and literally it can go anywhere with you. All right, so before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and prep my face with the Huda Beauty Primer. This is going to be the Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. I believe this is fairly new as well. I'm not sure. These items were all gifted to me, so not 100% sure what the timing is, but I will make sure to link them all in my description bar below, so just stay tuned for that. And also, I won't be doing my whole face on camera. I really just also want to show you guys what the foundation is going to be like. And of course, in other videos, I will be using different makeup items such as eyebrow products or lipstick products, just specifically showing you guys what that looks like versus my whole face every single video because that's gonna get old, obviously. And I want this video to be short and sweet and just straight to the point. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin motivating and just kind of talking through a couple of things so let's go ahead and quickly apply the cinnamon real quick just so we can move on from the makeup part of this and begin the motivating so as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and take this and what I love about this product is that I don't have to like um, what's the word color correct under my eyes as you can see I have darker eye circles genetics it's totally fine if you have them, you're still beautiful, it's it's fine. I used to get made fun of all the time about my under eye circles, like, did you get punched in the eye? Or I would be told that I looked like an owl. And I actually had an ex, like, tell me to sleep more. Like, what? Anyways, let's go ahead and put this foundation on and I will show you guys what it looks like. So as you can see, immediately it gives that really, really perfect coverage, especially under that eye. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on this side what it looks like as well. Honestly, this stuff rolls on your skin like butter, butter, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and stop for a second and I'm going to just kind of blend it in with the Huda Beauty. It's specifically a brush for the foundation and it works really, really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend in. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get to motivating. So 
To be honest, today I really just wanted to talk about the purpose and the waiting. Um, if a lot of you guys don't know, I was unemployed for seven months um, right after I graduated with my master's degree. Now, if you've graduated with anything or just, you know, have gotten a master's degree or just worked really hard for something, you'll know that it really does suck when you come out on the end of a something realizing that like there's nothing there right um so it really was hard for me especially since i went to like a nationally ranked school and really thought that oh when i come out it's gonna be popping i'm gonna be employed in 2.5 seconds right um that's not what happened i was unemployed i was very depressed i was stress eating, binge eating, I gained tons of weight just due to how stressed and anxious and depressed I was. Um, and it was a really, really dark and hard season for me. It felt like forever, like seven months feels like a year, okay? So it was hard. It was hard seeing my you know, counterparts, my coworkers or my classmates get positions or jobs and I'm just like at home twiddling my thumbs, right? It was very, very challenging for me. And I think in all of that, the whole message behind the purpose and the waiting was that little did I know that God was actually preparing my heart for the job that I was going to have and he was also dreaming dreams through me during that period of time. So if you don't know, during the time when I was unemployed, I actually began to kind of have vision about a merch line that I wanted to release and create. And at that time, I was like, well, I guess, I mean, I'll do it. I ain't got no coins to start it, but I'll at least start dreaming and sketching and drawing out what I want this line to look like, to be like. And the two terms or the two phrases I believe that God gave me were living for his glory and loved by God. And the whole idea of being loved by God was solely just for the purpose of realizing that my value is not in what I do, not in how much I can do. Um, it's not in what can be acquired or attained. It's not in, you know, who loves me, who doesn't love me, who I'm friends with, who I'm not friends with, who you know, acknowledges me or doesn't acknowledge me. It's not even about that. My value is solely embedded in the love of God for me and in my life. And that alone gives me value and that alone gives you value. Living for his glory came from the place of we do live in a day and age where living for the glory of God is not as popular or mainstream anymore as it used to be and I feel like sometimes it can be difficult to realize what it actually means to live for the glory of God. So I really want to use that message just as a way to, you know, show people and kind of remind people that we are here to live for the glory of God. And I truly do believe that. I really hope my life is one that lives for the glory of God and shows God glory in my life through what I achieve, what I accomplish and through through who I am, really. So that's really where that came from. So today, I wanted to just tell you that no matter where you are right now in life, no matter where you feel like you are or where you're not, um, just to know that there's purpose in your waiting. I know a lot of times the waiting period can be very frustrating, it can be very exhausting, it can be very doubtful, you can kind of have doubt in those seasons, um, but just know that God is there with you in the waiting, like he's there with you in the waiting. He truly has a plan for your life. So just know that even in the waiting, the long dreaded waiting, that God does have a plan for your life and God does have a purpose for that specific moment, whether it be you're waiting on a spouse for marriage, whether it means you're waiting on a job to have, whether it means you're waiting on that next season of life or waiting on that breakthrough financially or whatever it may look like that there's purpose in your waiting and I just want to challenge you to sit in that waiting period and to glance around and kind of take an inventory of what God might be doing I want to encourage you to also ask God like God what are you trying to teach me in this season? This season is hard. Be honest with God. This season is hard. This season is frustrating. It's annoying. It's embarrassing. It's X, Y, Z, and all that in the third. 
but what are you trying to teach me? And I know for me, God was trying to teach me that love and value can only be found in him over my life. God was trying to birth a dream of the merchandise that I now sell that has sold out time and time again, that is, you know, really blowing my mind about how popular it actually is, which is just a God thing, literally. I think that when we try to run at our own pace, we get caught up, but when we're at God's pace, he gently processes and gets us through the different hurdles that we need to get through and I'm so grateful for that even though the waiting can be so hard so today that is my motivation to sit in the waiting and to analyze and to really listen for what God could be showing you or telling you or better yet teaching you and in this I want you to be motivated and encouraged that God does have a plan for your life and that he does love you and that he does see you in the now. So that is my motivation for today and as you can see the foundation is blended and on my face and looking good. I'm going to go ahead and finish this look up and show you guys the finished result. Alright so this is basically the finished look of the foundation. As you can see it looks very smooth all my skin tone it matches my skin tone thank god because that's important um but yeah that's basically the end of this makeup and motivate video if you enjoyed it make sure to like subscribe share this video with a friend let me know your thoughts this is the first one so i'm still gonna getting the feel of how i want the flow of this video to go if you have any suggestions for me feel free to leave them below any encouragements for me for this video let me know Okay, let me know if this video was helpful for you or if this spoke to you um, and all that good stuff. Feel free to chat with me below. I'm very, very, you know, very mindful of responding to um, my subscribers, my C squad, uh, my followers, because I do really understand the importance of connection and I want to always seek to engage and connect with you guys as much as possible um, when I have the time and when I'm able to. So. Feel free to comment below and I would love to chat back with you. And I really do hope you guys have a great day, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. Um, I hope that this motivation has encouraged you and that it has planted a seed inside of you and that it will grow as you've watched and as you live out your life through this week. So have a wonderful day and I will talk to you next week in my Makeup and Motivate and peace.